Now in the morning, having risen a long while before daylight, he went out and departed to a solitary place, and there he prayed, Mark chapter 1 verse 35. As we approach a tree, our attention is often drawn to visible features such as the flowers, branches, and even the stem. We hardly notice, let alone, appreciate the roots. But, the roots are the most important part of the tree. Although they are hidden beneath the ground, the roots work tirelessly to hold the whole tree in place, and to provide it with the nutrients needed to thrive. No matter the type of soil they are planted in, dry, wet, sandy, rocky, or clay, the roots silently support the life of the tree. As Christians, the roots of a tree can hold valuable lessons for us. Jesus said, I am the vine, you are the branches. He who abides in me, and I in him, bears much fruit, for without me you can do nothing, John chapter 15 verse 5. And so it is with the roots, without the roots the rest of the plant will die. In much the same way our Christian life would wither and die unless we are rooted and grounded in Christ. Just as the roots must first pick up nutrients before they can distribute to the rest of the plant. So too must we first draw life from the source of life before we minister to others. And that is exactly what Jesus did. If we are to win the world for Christ, we must learn tap into his source of power. If we are to be the light of the world, we must charge our batteries at the source of life. The Bible says in Mark chapter 1 verse 35. Now in the morning, having risen a long while before daylight, he went out and departed to a solitary place, and there he prayed. Jesus' life exemplifies the importance of balancing work and drawing strength from God. He spent much of his energy, tending and feeding the sheep. However, he also made time for prayer, connecting with the source of life and replenishing his own spirit. As a result, he would come every day to the sheep pen, full of energy to yet again feed and care for the sheep. We must also draw strength from the spirit of life. We also need to balance our secular and spiritual work with a close and personal walk with God. Our roots must take strength from the word of God and in solitude prayer. And we must ensure that we get the balance right. For if we receive very little nutrients from the source of life, we risk going out to meet starving souls with an empty basket or the raging enemy without our armor. So let us meet daily in a solitary place to draw strength from God. God bless you. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to support our work.